What's your name? And so many more and, and much more disgusting things I oh, dare not repeat. Basically, it is so much harder for men, women, and children who have left their homes behind in hopes of better life to find homes and jobs. I'm sure you are all aware of what has happened at the border to the families. The families are being ripped apart and the authorities failing to meet deadlines again and again for children to be reunited with their parents. I'm the eldest of four on my mother's side. And on my father's side, I'm the eldest, I will soon be the eldest of three. But the idea of children being ripped from their parents ignites an anger like no other I have felt in my almost 16 years of life. The children who are traumatized by that are not reunited with their parents to be filled with hate towards this country. Even if they are reunited, the sheer terror and frightening experience will be forever ingrained in their minds. Towards the country that claims to be the sanctum from the wars waging, yet violently attacks those who fight for, ch for their children to be safe in America, the home of the free and land of the free. It is very sad that a misogynist, racist, and fear mongering man has managed to turn families and communities against each other. Because it shows him that the people are not willing to lift the wall from their eyes and be people rather than sheep, they will obey his every word and that he has that power. I have twin little sisters, they are seven now. When they found out that Donald Trump won, they cried and they hid from our mother because they and my other sister, who is ten now, were, were scared to go to, to school because they rode on a bus full of kids that essentially worshipped Trump. Children as young as five or six years old. With myself, we all stay homesick from closet. As to many of my best friends. Even though it's been two years, my little sisters still fear their classmates, but not at a, uh, a such an extreme level. The children on the bus would take their stuff, their lunch boxes. At one point, my sister's lunch box accidentally went out the window of the bus, and so many more things that I did not have to Or the blood pressure to place them all. of power over the youth fighting myself and my mother and father because if the current president could merely have the children turn against one another to be against one, one another merely due to some not being happy about who won the election what is next it is all too similar to a cult though where a so-called divine leader and those who don't conform to the leaders and those who who don't conform to the leaders views is being shunned, bullied extensively, or even killed. The only good thing is that there hasn't been some sort of abuse of this so-called president, Donald Trump. As far as I know, at least, because who knows, a lot of things regarding our president don't get changed. But who knows how long it will take until it escalates that far until students, children, and even those who are merely in the grocery store are getting killed. This past school year, a horrible record was broken. The number of school shootings a year. Unfortunately, the Las, the Las Vegas shooting is involved in the number of shootings a year. The president failed massively, miserably, pathetically, at both preventing it from happening again, as he did not say how me measures could be properly taken to prevent someone from breaking 
the window and shooting down people in the middle of the concert. And he properly and he didn't properly react to the worst mass shooting in modern American history. But with who our president is, can we really be called American? I was in class when my American history teacher turned on the news so that he could watch the coverage and answer questions she wrote on the board simply so if someone from district came in, no one would get in trouble. And when my classmates decided to laugh and joke about it and go on Snapchat and Instagram and make jokes, I personally stood up and said for them to stop because it was not right for them to make jokes out of how people who were just trying to enjoy a night got shocked to death. Thank you. Wow.